This is an introductory lecture on database where we describe what a database is. As a student of a database, you should develop a data focus when you look at an organization and attempt to design or understand its database. A clear understanding of the business functions will enable you to understand how the data is acquired and used in an organization. Where does the data for an organization come from? Typically, an organization collects its data during the course of its daily operations. As an example, a utility company collects its data when the customers consume energy, when the company charges its customers for energy consumption, records the payment when the customers pay at the end of a billing cycle, when the company maintains gas or electric supply lines, attends to problems on these lines when situation warrants, and so on. A university collects its data when the students are admitted, enroll for classes, the classes are completed with certain grades, or when the faculty is assigned to teach classes. An organization's operations are usually the sources that produce the data. The data is often collected automatically, as in the case of a customer visiting a firm's website, um, and the user interactions are recorded, or when a customer's order is scanned in a supermarket. This automatic collection of data has resulted in an enormous quantity of data that requires careful planning, both for its capture and for its maintenance. An organization needs to process this data in order for it to be useful. This processed data is known as the information uh, that an organization typically uses to make its decisions. The process data is converted to meaningful information using computerized systems. The best way to understand a database is to contrast it with a file system. In a file-oriented computer system, each program that is used in the organization maintains its own data. The same data might be used in different programs to produce reports. This often results in duplication of data. First, take a look at the diagram for the file-oriented approach. The sales, accounting, and the marketing applications all use customer's file. But in this file-oriented approach, each application maintains its own copy of the customer's file. So there are actually three different customer's file, all maintaining similar data. The main disadvantage of this approach is that there is a duplication of data and any change to data contained in one file is not automatically propagated to other systems, which may result in inconsistencies. In a database system, each program does not maintain its own data, but fetches the data as needed from a central location where all data for the organization is maintained. This central data repository is known as a database system. <clears throat> if you look at the last bullet item, we have the definition for a database system. So a database is a centralized, organized collection of data that is shared by multiple application programs and used in decision making. The critical words in this definition are centralized. The database is centralized in the sense that the data resides in a central repository 
and all application programs share this data. It is organized in the sense that it is split into a given number of tables and not just one haphazard collection of data. Now look at the diagram for the database approach. Here each application does not maintain its own data. There is only one customer's table and this table is shared among all applications that need the customer data. If a change is made to the customer's table and the changed data, the changed data is immediately available to all applications that use this data and there are no chances of inconsistencies since there is only one copy of the customer's table which now has the changed data.